So I made a new method for rebinding keyboard keys in Street Fighter V. This is how I did it. You need an electronics box, USB and PS2 sockets, Arduino Nano Clone, bunch of electronics junks, and a Brook Fireboy PCB. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, this project's dumb. So since you've seen the direction this project went, it should be mentioned that this keyboard like setup can be hooked up to a PS3 or a PS4 if you set the Brook PCB into the right mode when it boots up. So you need to make a circuit layout that will be able to switch the Brook inputs depending on the uh, outputs of the Arduino. I used some Darlington pairs because I had them lying around and it meant I didn't have to like hook up resistors as well as transistors. Once you're done making your circuit, put it in a box, make it look really nice. Now it's time to make an Arduino program. Make sure you get the Git version of the Arduino PS2 library because it has my quality commit in it. Map pins, set pins, make a method to get the PS2 scan code, learn about PS2 scan codes, do more boring nerd stuff to process the PS2 scan codes into button presses. If all went well, the Arduino will take in keystrokes and the Brook PCB will deal with being an X input controller or a PlayStation Fire Stick. So is this all worth it? Probably not, but as a keyboard player I can use uh, the keys I want as well as being able to bring my keyboard and this device to PS4 tournaments, meaning I can actually, you know, compete. Uh, are there any problems with this? There seems to be a slight input lag, but it's probably just Street Fighter. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Also, to switch mode uh, from PC to PS3 or PS4 when the Brook PCB starts up, you need to be holding down a key, and because it takes a while for the microcontroller to turn on, uh, you won't be able to do that, so I need to like add a dip switch or something to the back of it just to be able to like set the mode when it boots up. Other than that, it works fine.